Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. I am so excited for this video. As you can tell by the title, it is a haul and it has been a bit since I had gone into store, just purchased puzzles. I did a haul back in January. It wasn't the hugest amount of puzzles. I had done all of them and prior to that it had been a bit since I had purchased puzzles for myself and this is exciting. I I feel like I was getting low and I did already do all the 500 piece puzzles that I brought with me and so I really need to restock. I also mentioned in my last video about me being in a puzzle rut and just like going to find new puzzles that sparked interest. That's what I did and I did it both in store and online. I have a bunch of stuff to show you and I'm excited for it. Do I have space for it? Maybe. I might be able to find a spot for them. Um, but we're just going to dive into this. Some things I got at a local store here that's like way too dangerously close. Like it's not even a quarter mile away and it's like a nice little puzzle section. They had a lot of really cool brands. Also got things on Amazon and I have bought a wish list item. There's actually another few puzzles coming. They're going to be here in about a week or two. So I couldn't wait that long. I want to break into these puzzles. Already broke into one. So let's start there. So the store that I went to is called Wishes. It's in the Alderwood Mall in case you are in Washington. Um, had a really good selection of like really good brands. Decent pricing, I feel like comparable to Amazon, if not a little bit better than Amazon. So the first one that I have here, I already showed you on my channel. It was the last video that I did. I couldn't wait to break into one. So this is a 500 piece from Clementoni. I discussed it all in that last video, but in case you missed it, this is the puzzle absolutely stunning love the colors love the sky love the water this is a brand i would definitely do more of um it was just really pretty and i like the piece size now the next puzzle i have here is from the brand the op and this is a brand i talked about in my 10 smaller brands i want to try video and i saw that they had them they had a whole variety they didn't have the one that i originally wanted but i saw this one and i thought it was super cute so it's the cat it is a dr seuss puzzle it's a thousand pieces. It is a collage one and it has just the classic Dr. Seuss book covers on there. So it has cat in the hat, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, fox and socks, like all the classics. And I thought it would be super cute. And even though it's a thousand pieces, something like this where it's just like collage, very distinct sections would also be pretty easy for me. Like the last one I did, which was like the Guinness one, I ended up doing in like five hours. So I feel like this one's going to go pretty quickly and I love the colors and I'm excited to try this brand. There's another puzzle from the brand that I want to try called um, the Handbook of the Recently Deceased, which is for Beetlejuice. And I thought that one looks really cute, but this one I really enjoyed. They had a ton of different images, like they had Golden Girls, mostly like pop art or like modern like media and I, I think I'm gonna like it. And the next one I have is a brand I've never heard of anything about. I saw it there, they only had one puzzle available and it is a 500 piece one from the brand Talking Tables. And look at this, this is totally up my alley image wise, illustrated, it's called Yoga. And it's just a bunch of ladies doing yoga with their mats and I just thought it would be super easy, love the coloring, love the style, I'm definitely like my cup of tea and I, I feel like the box is really decent. Price is a little bit higher than the other ones. Looks like it is a UK brand, so it was made in China, but it's based in London, and I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it, so let me know if you want me to do a video on it or if I could just do it on my own, but I love the colors. I just feel like it's like very modern, very like modern style. So there is that one. Now the next brand I have here is Aduka. And this brand I want to love so much because they have beautiful images, but I have noticed on the three puzzles that, that I've done with them so far in all different piece counts, they are a very crumbly puzzle brand. So you can have lots of false fits, can't move large sections together, maybe can move like three pieces together at a time, but their images are cute. And so when I was doing my um, planning my puzzle bingo video, I noticed I didn't have any puzzles that had a bike in it. So I saw this puzzle in the store and I was like, ooh, that's a puzzle with a bike in it. And it's totally up my alley. It is called, let me see, it's called Bicycle with Flowers. Very original. And that's exactly what it is. It is a bicycle with flowers. It's only 500 pieces, so I don't think this gray wall is going to be super tricky because it's not like a huge amount of pieces, you know. Um, I think there's enough texture there to work with. I like the image a lot. Kind of reminds me of like my Amsterdam puzzles that I have done. And I don't know what it is about me and 
puzzles with bikes, but I just find them very like, I don't know, very sweet. Right now my bike is in storage and I have no access to it. So hopefully I will be able to ride soon. That's something that I love to do on the weekends. And I just, I think it's such a good like springtime activity. Next, we have two Ravensburger puzzles, both 500 pieces. They had the large size ones, like the larger jumbo size pieces. I ended up just going with the traditional pieces because I don't have a ton of space on my table. So the first one I have here is a beautiful, I love the colors of this one. It is again, five frame pieces. It is called, it's called Manatee Moments. <laughs> and look, oh, I love the colors of this one. Very more traditional, you know, it's just like a nice illustration. I feel like it would be in a children's book. It has just like a ton of animals. Love that portion of sky, very jungle-like. And I love the colors of this one. I feel like the little pink flamingos flying are super cute. I don't think this will be at all tricky. It's probably gonna take me like an hour and a half to do. I, like, I just loved it. They had so many different options for 500 piece ones. It was hard to narrow it down. I only bought two and I could have easily gotten way more. I feel like price was decent too. It was what, $16 or so for a 500 piece one for, yeah, it's $15.99, which I think is decent price, right? Um, but anything that I can find on Amazon, I'll link down below. That's just the easiest place for you to find the ones that I got. Anyway, it's pretty. The other 500 piece one I got was also Ravensburger and it is called floral reflections i feel like i've had my eye on this one for a while it is beautiful it's like a take on a gradient rainbow but it's flowers that are very distinctly divided and then one half is like the photo and then the other half as you guys can see is like a reflection like if it's in water and i kind of like that it's only 500 pieces so each section of color isn't really big and the flowers are pretty distinct all right next Let's move into the next Amazon box. And I did only purchase two others from Amazon, which it was hard. I had at least like six in my cart, only purchased three. So I feel like I'm doing pretty well with the restraint, especially since it has been a bit since I purchased puzzles. Um, but this one, oh my gosh, it's so pretty in person. I got two from Ellen Essex. I, another brand that I'm really loving their images, want pretty much every single one. I got only two, I had four or five in my cart from just her line. Oh my God, this one's so much pretty in person. This is the Bird Paradise puzzle, which look at those colors. Definitely reminds me of the Circle of Color line from Ravensburger, where they have like a gradient of color, um, but it's like of images of a specific variety. So there's like fruit and vegetables, there's flowers. I did the one for um, animals and then this is not the same brand but similar concept you know where it's just birds and it's just so sweet I love the colors of this one so much I think it'd be pretty doable there's definitely a ton of blue and green but I feel like it's going to photograph so well it is a thousand pieces so I'm going to have to look at dimensions to see if it's actually going to fit on that table um, because sometimes it can go a little bit larger but I think it's going to be beautiful and I'm excited. The other ones that I want, there's one that has like the whale on it. I'll put the other two that I was considering on the screen. Those are huge contenders just because they're very like simple puzzles, even though they're a thousand pieces. So I'm excited for this one. So I'm always seeing it on Instagram. So I'm excited to have it. And then I did purchase her newest one. I, I think I purchased it the day that it launched, um, but it's called Butterfly Beauty. And that's exactly what it is. Oh, look at those. They're so sweet and I wanted a puzzle for things that fly and I do have that like Washington puzzle but that's just like this one's better you know I just love the colors love doing their puzzles I've done two so far and I have another one that I didn't bring with me kind of regretting that but love the images there's definitely a lot of pink and orange but I think it's a very doable image and kind of reminds me of the same line of the was it the mushroom one that I did a while back. Very similar concept, but it's just butterflies instead. So I think it will also be a really nice puzzle. And ooh, oh, here we go. The two that I have been keep having my eye on, one is called Sicilian Cove, and the other one is Ocean Deep. And there's like several others on the back of the box that I'm also interested in. Okay, that is a brand that is dangerous. 
So now let's move into my wish list item. This is a brand that I haven't seen anywhere. Like no one else has talked about it. I'm so curious. Very small company. I actually did reach out to them to be like, hey, I'm gonna do a video on your on your puzzle brand. Is there anything you want me to talk about? And it is a very small company. They actually are more based towards like poker players or like decks of cards. And so now I understand where their puzzle images are coming from. I'm excited for it. I'll discuss it more in the video that I plan to do. But I needed to show you what I ordered. I need to open it up. <laughs> Hold on a second. So this is a very small family owned brand. They are originally like a deck of cards company that they started 10 years ago. And they have some puzzles. They have only five images available. I will go into a lot more depth in that video. But the concept is like each puzzle has its own like collection. So you could get the deck of cards with the mini puzzle and the full size puzzle all together or individually. I did purchase one one mini puzzle from one set and then I bought the full collection of another set just so I can see but there's one collection I definitely wanted like the whole thing of and then there was another one that I was like contemplating so the one that I got just the mini puzzle of is from their Alice in Wonderland collection and this is the little vial I'll put the picture on the screen but it looks very similar to like a micro puzzle but I'm realizing they're not the same because micro puzzles are only twos, like the pieces are all the same. This one, they do have a variety here. So they are 140 pieces. It's in like this little test tube guy and the image looks really cute. So I'm excited for this. Again, another video coming on this brand. Um, and then we have the full Robin Hood set, which I'm so excited for. I like the image the most, but also, I don't know. I grew up on Robin Hood. I've seen like a bunch of different variations but also like the Disney version. This is the test tube mini puzzle of the Robin Hood one which also really cute and then I have the deck of cards from them which is oh hey they actually wrote me a note hold on it says Emily thank you so much for your purchase Hannah so I'm guessing that was who packed my stuff that's super cute and then it has a just a random 10 of clubs. I don't know what that's for. There's like a QR code. I don't know, that's cute. Um, but there is a deck of cards, which looks like a little book. Look at that. Oh, and that's how the boxes come to you. Okay, I'm excited. I'll show you the deck of cards in the video, but that's what it looks like. It seems really sturdy. And I like how it's just like a little tiny book. That's cute. And then we do have the actual puzzle which is a oh my gosh <laughs> i'm so excited uh i don't think i can show you what it's looking like but here it is it's the robin hood one obviously but it looks like a book and here's the back like it has like a little teaser a little bit about it. it's a thousand pieces and this puzzle is dual sided and i am so for it. I don't want to open it up just yet because I do want to do that whole video but this has been on my wish list for well over a year and I am so excited for it like this is like an experience um, and I love that I'm supporting such a small company and I feel like they just took a lot of care in this this makes me so happy anyways that is it for today's video let me know any of the puzzles that you want me to do on camera definitely will keep that in mind for future videos and make sure to follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of puzzles over there that you may not see in here. So check that out as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.